Hey guys, it's David from mdbootstrap.com and in this video I'm gonna show you 5 advanced CSS tricks. Let's get started. So let's start with masks. I have an image here and I want to apply this mask which I created in Photoshop uh, to it. So you can basically easily do it in, in tools like Photoshop, just take some brush and you know, brush this, this shape you want to use. Uh, and now let's see how we can uh, apply this using CSS. So what we're going to do, I'm going to mm, apply this to our image. I'm going to edit some width. And now I'm going to use mask image. And I'm going to provide this mask URL here. And let's do the same for WebKit mask image for sake of compatibility with the all browsers and now let's display our image so we have photo and let's see how it looks like so as you can see our image has now this mask. Uh, what we can do, let's change the background color. Uh, body, background, black. So now you can see how this mask is getting applied. Let's get rid of it for a second. So this is the original original image and this is the one with mask. What we can also do, we can add, um, we can use image for, uh, for a mask or we can do something else. So let's try do something like this. Mask image, linear gradient, let's say to bottom and we're gonna have transpire Ran 25% and black 75%. Okay, and then the same for the web kit mask image. And let's just copy paste this one, save it, and let's have a look. So you can see that we applied mask using linear gradient uh, just using CSS. Next one are counters. Counters are variables maintained by CSS whose value can be incremented by CSS rules. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you what does it exactly mean. So in order to start using counter, we have to initialize it first. In order to initialize it, we are gonna use counter reset function and we're gonna give it a name. So we will define counter called section. Now let's create counter for let's say h3 heading and we're gonna do something like that. Now we're gonna define increment step and so every time this element appears we're gonna increment our counter and let's add some content so we're gonna prefix it with section, uh, counter section, so this is how you call it, and something like that, let's say. Okay, and now let's add some HTML. Oh, let's fix typo first. Let's add some headings. One heading, two heading, three. And let's see how it looks like. So as you can see, all our headings are prefixed with the section and the counter, which automatically increases. And obviously we can get rid of this section and leave just a counter. Now let's have a look at another example where we're going to define counters and sub counters. So I'm going to define new counter. I'm going to call it heading and now 
I'm gonna use H1 and H2 for for that. Oops, and now something like this. Okay, so we have first counter. Now let's define new counter. And now let's define H2. Okay, counter subheading. So we're going to concatenate uh, both and let's add space here. Let's oh, it should be content, obviously, and counter. Meant subheading and let's add some HTML now. So as you can see, our subheadings can also use um, counters and subcounters. And let me show you last example uh, I prepared for you. Let me just copy paste it for to speed up the process. So we have another um, counter for each order list and list item. And this allows us to quickly define following list. So each item has its own counter. And as you can see, it's also can go deeper down to uh, even level three and more, obviously, if we would use so each uh, new order list below that nested would get a new counter. Now let's learn how to create this like a storybook effect. So what I have here uh, is um, first few paragraphs from Alice Adventures in Wonderland and currently it looks like that. So nothing sexy. So let's see how we can quickly um, add this nice storybook like effect. So I'm going to define this class for paragraph intro, but I'm going to define this one for first letter only. So I'm going to use this selector and let's set font size to 100 pixels, display block, now float to the left, line height, let's increase it to 0 0.5 and let add some margins, 15 pixels, 15 pixels, 10 pixels and 0 and let's add some styles to our body, let's narrow down uh, let's set the font size to one RAM first, and now let's uh, narrow down this to let's say forty percent. Let's add some margin auto to center the text, and finally let's add let's change the font family to Cormoran Infant, and this is a font which I got from Google Fonts, which I described in one of the previous videos. So now let's have a look at the final result. Wow, 
it looks like a really nice book now. Mandatory fields. As you probably know, HTML5 allows us to define which fields are mandatory, which are required uh, for user to um, to fill them out, as otherwise they will get an error when they try to submit mm, this field uh, as an empty one. But did you know that you can also use these attributes as a selectors in CSS? Let's have a look at this example. Required. And let's add some border to it. Let's say one pixel solid pink. And on the other hand, let's also choose optional. And let's add one pixel solid sky blue color to it. And now our fields are marked as required and optional using different CSS rules. And the last one for today is how to change text selection color. So by default, if I'm going to add some text here in a paragraph, let's say 30 words, I'm going to save it. Our selection has this blue color, but using CSS, we can easily change it simply by typing selection and providing background color. Um, let's say something like uh, something like that. Oops, that should be hash. And now from now on, our selection color has changed. And obviously we can change also other um, properties like text color and so on. Okay, guys, thank you for watching and let me know in the comments whether you knew these uh, CSS tricks or not. And let me also know what else would you put on this um, list as an advanced CSS trick. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, don't forget to turn on notification so you will get notification every time we release new video like that. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.